Okay, uh, I want to address a couple of things. Uh, any of you that know me or Joe, you know we're huge Danny Christie fans. Uh, I'm going to give my take on on this fight that happened tonight. Uh, we did not get to see any post-fight coverage at all. Uh, we hurriedly ran up to the gym ourselves because we work around here. And we work damn hard. And we take boxing, bare knuckle, combat sport very seriously. Take it damn serious. Uh, Danny had got knocked down several times, and they were, I believe, uh, 13 seconds left in the round. And Danny took a knee and wisely checked to see if he had blood or what was going on with the strike he had received. And he was totally coherent. He was listening to the ref. He was off his knee and up. And the referee, by the count of ten, and the referee waved and stopped the fight with seconds to go in the, in the damn round. With seconds. Single digit seconds. That was a awful display by that referee. Awful. I don't want to hear woulda, shoulda, coulda about it. Uh, we hope that Danny continues in spite of that jackass and what he did during the evening over there in the UK. And This is what gets so skewed in combat sport, well, in all sport. Uh, you got jackass referees, and they ha they have bad evenings too. I wish there could be some adjudication about the fight. I um, wish there could be a, a rematch. Uh, that's my take on it. That's my take on it. Um, I seen we're right there at the end, uh, and where where we we cut. Uh, Danny was petitioning the referee, and and he should have been. And we just got back from the gym, and I'm seeing some comments, some snide, that, oh, well, Danny walked on out of the ring. Uh, let me explain something to you folks. Uh, it's easy to be sitting in a recliner or laying down on the couch and watching a sport and be able to tell athletes what good sportsmanship is, what this is, what that is, from the comfort of your own damn living room. Uh, but unless you, you, you're in or have been 
in a highly competitive professional sport, you need to understand fully that you, you don't know what it's like. You've, pro you've never been in a situation uh, with so much on the line and such a highly, highly competitive nature, and you ain't never been there. You ain't never been there. Folks, we, I come from, therefore Joe comes from, a bunch of university, professional, and Olympic athletes from different sports. Uh, great amateur champions, great professional champions. I, I grew up in it. Uh, my mother was stronger than half you couch potatoes out there. So my, my, my daddy damn sure was. So it's easy to Monday morning quarterback from your living room. And especially when, when you ain't held the ball in your hand ever. Or at least never in a highly competitive situation. When you get screwed on such a highly competitive, in, in such a highly competitive way, you, you don't know how you're going to handle it. I'll tell you what I would have done. Uh, I would have raised more hell. That's what I would have done. Uh, but then again, that's me. Had I been in his corner, I would have been in that damn ring. They would have had to cart me to hell out of there, kicking and screaming. Okay. You can sue me for that. Uh, but we're competitive as hell around here. That's what to compete means. And half you jackasses don't don't even understand that a competition is competing. So be careful what you think. Be careful what you say. Think about what you say. Think of, think about things. And if you haven't been in a situation that a professional athlete's been in, you can have your opinions, but before you sound off the horns, try to think about what, what, what you sounded. What horn you took. And behave your damn selves out there. Most of you have no idea what winning is about that are complaining about this thing. You, you've been losing all your life. Many of you because you never even tried. So be careful. In the, in the words of the great Larry Holmes, give a man a break. Be a man. <laughs> takes a man to understand another man. And that's what a lot of you need to start realizing right here, right now. It takes a man to understand how another real man is reacting to something. Be it a win, a loss, or a draw, or a tied ball game. So, uh, we hope that Danny continues. Uh, he's got a lot of fight left in him. And for folks that are ragging him out, 
bring your Mary Fanny down here to Columbia. Maybe I'll show you I got one more left in me. Be respectful out there. Act like you got some damn sense. Gonna rag a champion. Who the heck are you to be doing something like that? Much less one that, that I love and respect and consider a friend of mine. People need to really think about how pathetic that that some of your actions have been with concerns to this event. I would have petitioned way greater. Way greater. And ain't a damn one of you out there just going to call my sportsmanship in question. And you want to know why? You can, but you're stupid and you're ignorant and you're not qualified to. No more than you're qualified to question one of the great one-punch knockout artists of your time, probably the greatest of your time. So act like you got some damn sense out there, will you?